Uh, Mueller is at the WKRN.com alert us with the reason why. Stay on hey my guys, mic. You got me? Yeah, we got you, Sorry Bob. about that. I was grabbing my coat. Cheatham County Central High School has two confirmed COVID-19 cases in its program. The school confirms the positive results to news, too. They say that the coaching staff decided it would be best to quarantine the entire team to play it safe. They stopped all football practices, and the team won't practice again until Wednesday, August the 19th. Now, because there is no week one football game for Cheatham County Central High, their first game isn't until August 28th when they play Clarksville, Montgomery County. Sorry about that, guys. I was grabbing my coat. Eric? All right, thank you, Bob. Appreciate that. Turning now, folks, to Tennessee's opioid crisis, a battle the state has been fighting for years. Cheatham County narcotics officers have a strong message tonight for drug dealers. If you sell drugs to somebody who dies, you... New normal of classes in 2020, the state's disability coalition is urging families to have a direct line of contact with school district leadership. As News News' Josh Breslow found, some parents in East Tennessee feel like their children could get left behind. Lucas Green is a seven-year-old with CFC syndrome, a rare genetic disorder that causes developmental delays. Because of the pandemic, he hasn't been able to get to school or therapy and has regressed. That part was bad because we lost everything. We lost all of his structure that he gets through school and therapy, you know, and kids crave structure. His mother says he saw his teacher's virtual classroom and had a positive reaction. She's asked that we go in and just let him watch them during the day. And um, I noticed that the first time I let him watch one of them, he started rocking back and forth, which is kind of his version of dancing. And he recognized the song and he recognized his teacher's voice, I could tell. So that was very uh, pleasing to see. First grader Eden Miller goes to the same school. She has a rare genetic condition that can leave her in a state of chronic unexplained inflammation and give her dangerously high fevers. Her mother says it can cause developmental issues too. We don't really know how to help her intellectually um, like the services she would receive in school. She says virtual learning has been a blessing. She is on immunosuppressants, so it's a little bit scary to send her, you know, to school with everything going on. Some school reopening plans neglect to mention specific guidelines for students with special needs, just saying the schools will be on their virtual protocol. In others, special education students in self-contained classes will go to school if there is staff available and be subject to social distancing. It's something Lucas wants to get back to no matter how the pandemic is going. I know he will be super excited when the school bus rolls up that first morning that he does get to go back because he absolutely loves riding the bus. Josh Breslow, News 2. And a spokesperson for the Tennessee Disability Coalition issuing a statement to our sister station that reads in part, quote, parents of children with disabilities need to establish a direct line with local district leadership and their state legislators. Make sure these leaders know you and your child by name. And above all, follow up, follow up, follow up, end quote, Eric. All right, this caught my eye today, friends. Another COVID-19 vaccine trial coming to Nashville and researchers, they need your help. Nashville-based Clinical Research Associates is looking for 4,000 local volunteers as part of Operation Warp Speed. <laughs> this is where we're at. Here's how it works. You'll receive either a potential vaccine or placebo. Then you'll be monitored for 15 minutes, given instructions on how to monitor yourself. After that, you'll be watched for two years with check-ins over the phone and in person. The reason for the two-year timeline is to help ensure long-term safety and see how long potential immunity lasts. That's smart. If you want to sign up, just go to covidnashville.com. You must be at least 18 and you will be paid. All right.